In today's Entertainment City, Jim Carrey is calling a wrongful death lawsuit against him, quote, heartless. But first, unexpected news from the tragically hip lead singer, Gord Downey. He'll be playing two shows next month despite his ongoing battle with terminal brain cancer. Downey took to Twitter to announce two shows for his upcoming Secret Path album and film project. He'll play Ottawa on October 18th and Toronto's Roy Thompson Hall on October 21st. Secret Path focuses on the story of Cheney Wenjack, a boy who died trying to escape one of Canada's many residential schools. Proceeds from tickets will go towards the Gord Downey Fund for Truth and Reconciliation. Tickets go on sale Friday. Downey's announcement comes just after it was revealed the band's recent Man Machine poem tour raised more than a million dollars for brain cancer research in Canada. Jim Carrey is being accused of providing the prescription drugs that his former girlfriend used to overdose last year. As we reported, makeup artist Catriona White was found dead at one of Carrey's homes last September. She and the comedian dated in 2012 and had been spotted together again in May 2015. The lawsuit was filed by the late 30-year-old's estranged husband. It claims Carrey improperly obtained prescriptions under the alias Arthur King, then gave White the medications days before her death. The lawsuit calls White's death, quote, tragic and easily avoidable, saying Carrey violated California law by using the alias to obtain prescription drugs. Carrie is vowing to fight the lawsuit. In a statement, the Canadian says, quote, there are some moments in your life where you have to stand up and defend your honor against the evil in this world. I will not tolerate this heartless attempt to exploit me or the woman I love. In chess, the small one can become the big one. It's a drama that makes all the right moves. Queen of Cotway, the story of a girl who rose from the slums of Uganda to become a chess champion. Oscar winner Lupita Nyong'o plays her widowed mother in the biopic, and I got a chance to chat with her about the role. Are you my daughter? Yes, mama, yeah. It's such a beautiful story. You are so strong, Lupita. Do you think that you drew any of that strength from meeting Fiona's mother? This being a true story, when I got to Uganda, one of the first things I did was meet Harriet and spend hours with her just questioning her about her life, her interests, her fears, and she is a very, very strong woman. She's winning. She's winning. Tune in Thursday to hear more from Lupita and her co-stars. I want you to enroll as medical students and come work at my hospital. They're back. Scream Queens has its season two premiere tonight and everything has changed for the Chanel's. Terry Hart got the inside scoop with the stars themselves about what sort of scandalous drama we can expect this time around. It's a totally new world for season two. Let us know what's happening. It's a completely new world. The Chanel's have been completely uprooted. They're poor. They've been disowned by their families. Who would have guessed it would come to this? Three years later, I now run a hospital, and I bring the Chanel's to my hospital. And the killings continue, and nobody is safe. So uh, every week, it's shocking, just like last year. I mean, I just read episode three, and I'm so sad with who dies. I'm so sad. But we do have a couple new boys to the cast. Hi, I'm Dr. Brock Holt. I went to Harvard. And I'm Dr. Cassidy Cascade. I'm basically female Viagra. Mr. Stamos, Mr. Yes. Lautner. Yes. How did you guys welcome them, make them a part of the Scream Queens family? You know, they they got there and they really fit in. They're hilarious. Right this way. I say right this way. Is what the writers have come up with for their characters is fantastic. We are the two head surgeons at the hospital. It's a very specific hospital um, for very rare conditions. It is totally hilarious this year, but it's also um, a little bit darker because the hospital is really eerie and scary. Everyone freaks out when they get wheeled in. <laughs> As always, get your entertainment news here first in the morning and anytime on Twitter at NCity.